If you're anything like me and you get excited about when Notion pushes out an update, especially one that's to do with databases, then this is going to be a good one. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. As you probably know from the title of the video and the little clip at the beginning, they've added advanced filters. For this quick demonstration I've set up two different databases, one with a text column, two checkbox columns, a select column and a relation to another database. Now when we go into the filters, you still have that same option of adding a normal filter as we had done before. So you can add in whatever we want, contains F, you can see it gets rid of the advanced. But now we have these groups. And essentially when we add a group we can add another filter you still have the and and or option but in this group you can still select a filter so we're going to select one is ticked but now we can add another filter in this group and you can see we get that option again whether it's an and or or so now we've got one filter that says contains f and must contain one is ticked or two is ticked and you can add another group in there but as you can see it carries over that condition the or condition into that group so we can say or is person one and or or is person two and you can keep adding filters adding filter groups and if you go to the side of the filter you can see you have the remove or the duplicate option when you add a filter outside of that group it will add the top filter that you have so we've got and as our first filter so that is why we've got the and in that second filter outside of the or group. So now we have an advanced filter that's searching for video contains F and one is ticked or two is ticked or person one or person two and it must be in project one. So you can see all of these meet that first argument where F is in the video title and they are all in project one but they all have different other criteria. So the first one, one is ticked but nothing else. Second one, two is ticked, nothing else. The third one is person one, the fourth one is person two. Because that project filter was an and filter, when we take away that project relation, it will go away from that filtered view. Something to note, when you add something in in these filters, it will automatically add the and condition you've put in. So it's going to add the F condition and add my project condition. And it will add the very first or condition that you have in that listed group. So you can see one is ticked, so it's added that one tick. Whatever that first condition is, that is the one that will be taken in that new data point. If you missed the last Notion update where they added self-referencing templates, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.